Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. <laughs> Joining us today is Scott Jimmer. He is the director of product marketing at Brocade. One of the things we, we hear a lot is the emergence, so to speak, of Ethernet as a storage protocol. And I don't necessarily want to uh, attack Ethernet because somewhere between 60 and 80 percent of the market is still fiber channel based for storage. Is that what you guys find too? Yeah, absolutely. And we don't expect that to change because there's some inherent benefits why customers continue to buy fiber channel. Hey, if I break down the kind of the what I hear is the, sort of the Ethernet claims, right? Number one is going to be uh, performance right it's faster right number two is price it's cheaper and then number three is complexity or in in their case it's simpler that so first of all let's talk about performance um, is ethernet faster than fiber channel ethernet has speeds today 110 40 100 fiber channel being deployed today 16 gigs so when you compare the for the fastest commonly deployed speed, you're really comparing 10 to 16. So is there an advantage there? No. Now they'll go up to 40. Uh, in our case, as an industry, we recently announced Gen 6 Fiber Channel, which will also add speeds of 32 and 128. In the case of 40 gig and 100 gig Ethernet, we now have 32 and 128 gig Fiber Channel to really that compete head to head there. So then what we're talking about here is my connection from the server and potentially from the switch to the storage that is now running uh, 16 gig commonly available FCIA announcing uh, 32 gig so those th that's the speed of those connections right? right. Now where does the 128 connection come in? Now the 128 will eventually make its way to host and storage okay. target but primarily the initial uh, use case will be in inner switch links. Okay. So I think that kind of takes care of the performance problem, right? Absolutely. So let's talk about price. They got to look at all the things when they look at the cost. It's the availability concerns, it's the amount of storage uh, interface capabilities they have both on the host and switch level. We believe when customers add all that together, you know, again, 8 gig fiber channel is going to be less expensive and then 16 gig fiber channel is going to be at or near parity. I think we can knock out price then, right? You feel good about that? Absolutely. All right, now the real hard one. <laughs> fiber channel is hard. I've heard it a million times. What's, what's hard about fiber channel? Where do we get that reputation? I think when you're comparing Ethernet, which a lot of these customers know, love, they've deployed it everywhere. They know Ethernet. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't know Fiber Channel. But for the customers that have deployed Fiber Channel. And, and remember, that's what? Somewhere between 60 to 80% of the market. So we're not talking about like five guys in, you know, right. in, in somewhere that, that know it. We're talking about a whole bunch of people that know this technology. Right. And they know it. They know how to deploy it. They know how to manage it. And more importantly, from a complexity standpoint, a management standpoint, most people view their fiber channel infrastructure as a set it and forget it kind of infrastructure. They build it once, they add hosts and storage targets, and that's it. The network stays up and running. They're not maintaining it or they're not spending a lot of time managing it just simply because it's running and working all the time. Well, and I think one of the things that, that you had mentioned in, when we were talking uh, earlier was uh, when we were talking about Gen 6 fiber channel. I, mean, I could plug a, a Gen 6 fiber channel switch in there and basically do no harm to the rest of my environment, right? Right. The, the backward compatibility of fiber channel makes the overall management and scalability of fiber channel networks really easy for customers. And they could add new speed technology into a 16 gig environment. They could add a 32 gig Gen 6 switch and it'll auto negotiate to whatever it's connecting to. So complete backward compatibility that makes it really easy to deploy new technology. Perfect. Well, I think that takes care of the complexity thing. And on top of that, there's a compelling reason to stay in fiber channel because there's lots of innovation happening there. We've got Gen 6 coming in a couple of years that's going to add more performance lower latency, you know, better throughput, and on top of that, better manageability and higher availability. Perfect. Scott, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me.